my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, hi, my name is Anvi and I make content related to fashion, lifestyle, uh, vlogs, challenges, DIYs, all the good stuff. So if you're interested in this content, please subscribe to my channel. And for today's video, I am going to be showing you guys some last minute Diwali outfits that you can create with some pieces already at your home. So basically, if you're someone like me and you are dumb enough that you don't pre-plan your festive outfits, this video should be very helpful for you and hopefully you will get some inspiration on what to put together for this Diwali and the festive season. So we're just going to be pulling out some pieces from here and there, mixing and matching and seeing what outfits we can come up with. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so for the first outfit, we're going to keep it very chill, very casual for somebody who does not like to dress up so much, yet wants to wear something Indian and traditional and ethnic. So uh, what I have planned is that I have this very basic cotton kurta that uh, I just got from a website called yeah I can't remember the name I will mention it somewhere here but yeah so I got this kurta from that website and I got it stitched myself I love the color like it's just so bright and cheerful and young so yeah I love this kurta so this is what I'm going to be wearing and along with this below I am wearing some white plazo pants some very normal white plazo pants and this is something that I feel like a lot of you might already have just a basic kurta and plazo, any sort of plazo pants, what, uh, pla plazo pants, whatever color suits your kurta. So that's what I'm wearing. Now you must be thinking that this is very basic Anvi, what is so Diwali and festive about it? So we are going to make it more festive by adding a very nice dupatta, by adding some jewelry, by adding some bindi and all of the good stuff. So let me go and add the factors to this outfit and then I will be back to show you guys okay guys so this is the final outfit so I added this white chunni and I wish I had a more uh, decked up white color chunni but this is the only one that I could find and I added some wait I added some bangles some uh, very few actually just like three bangles that matched my kurta I added some pearl earrings and uh, a bindi that's it that's all it took to take this outfit from a very everyday normal level to a sort of festive but subtle festive level so yeah this is the first outfit Right, so for the next outfit, we have this plain, super simple, super cute, pink colored anarkali, I would say. I mean, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's an actual anarkali or what style this is, but just a plain pink, beautiful, beautiful kurta. And below this, I am actually wearing a skirt which people generally don't do, like they don't wear skirts with anarkalis but I think skirt and anarkali is such a beautiful combination because it gives you like that perfect ghagra type feel so I am wearing a skirt with this um, anarkali now to take it to level number 2 we will add the accessories and the dupatta okay so here is the final look I am wearing this very very statement neck piece and I thought that since the whole outfit is very plain, so uh, just one statement neck piece is enough to take this whole outfit to another level. And I also am not wearing any earrings because then it would get too heavy in this area. But I'm wearing this beautiful golden chunni with this because uh, my kurta has a touch of golden in the bottom. So that's why the golden chunni, and that is it. So this is our next outfit, well not the complete outfit but the start of an outfit. So I'm wearing this very plain and simple skirt that I got from that I got from Shein. 
are I think but I got this from Shein and it's a very plain simple skirt it literally has nothing except this cute ruffle detail so that and with that to make it look more festive I'm wearing a sari blouse which I stole from my mom so it's thank you to my mom for letting me borrow most of her clothes for this video but yeah so I'm wearing a golden blouse because I thought it looked good with this um, beautiful colored skirt so like a golden silver white black like some neutral colored blouse would look amazing with a colored skirt and now the part where we take the outfit up a notch adding a dupatta and adding some accessories all right so i've added these super heavy but super beautiful golden plus this like blue and pink earring which goes perfectly with the color contrast of my outfit exactly the same colors gold and pink and blue so that goes perfectly not very really like these because the earrings are heavy enough and i am wearing a contrasting color dupatta with this outfit because i thought it did need like one more a uh, pop of color so i'm wearing this contrasting blue dupatta and i draped it in a little different way kind of like a sari so tucked it in at the side and then got it piche se aage so it kind of looks like a sari yeah this is the outfit so a very plain dupatta very plain skirt sari blouse and some earrings again four pieces and an amazing amazing diwali outfit outfit we have this beautiful 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 royal dress kurta kind of thing i don't know what it's called but it's like a dress basically it literally is longer than me so it's very flowy you can't see the bottom right now but you see it in the wide it's super flowy and i don't know why this just makes me feel like really like royal vibes it gives me i don't know why but yeah so basically with this outfit the goal is to pick up any dress any super long kurta that you have at home that has sort of indian vibe or indian feel to it because of the print maybe so pick up that kurta and just wear it with nothing like you don't need a salwar or you don't need a dupatta or anything just one dress and that's it So this is for the people who don't like wearing too much stuff and feel like it's a jhanjhat because sometimes it is. Just wear a dress that has an ethnic vibe to it, and um, to make it look even more ethnic, I've tied my hair up in a bun because I feel like so much is happening on this area that um, if I keep my hair loose, it doesn't suit. You know what I mean? And uh, that is also why I'm not wearing any earrings or a neck piece because already this area is super heavy. And um, I just added a cute little chotu sa bindi, if you can see. So that is it for this outfit. Okay, guys. So this was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys got some. Diwali festive outfit inspiration and please let me know if you recreate any of these outfits. If you upload pictures on Instagram, don't forget to tag me. And uh, my Instagram handle will be right here. And um, yeah, this was my first video going up after a very long time. So I'm so excited to be back on camera and be doing what I really love, making videos in front of the camera, in front of you guys. And yes, of course, guys, don't forget to subscribe. like this video and share it with your friends who also need a last minute outfit inspiration i'll see you next time bye